What's up, motherfuckers? We're back. And we're back with fucking Uncharted 2 Among yeah. Thieves. This game fucking rips my dick. <laughs> uh, we're gonna start a new game. Dude, uh, I'm excited. Yeah. You better be. Better be. Um. <sighs> should we? What? Can nah. We treasures here? Nah, let's not. Let's right, go. No, we're going raw. We'll go, yeah, we're going. We're coming in raw. <laughs> we're coming <laughs> raw. Preheat that oven, because I'm coming in raw. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the beginning of this game is fucking incredible. Here, I want you to play it. Okay. Yeah, you invented the swimming pool. What's that from? Dumb and dumber. -er. <laughs> Sleep off first. What's going on? The hell? Yeah, it's my blood. It's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. There's the cover. Yeah. <laughs> Just jump up. Now you gotta climb. You gotta climb up it. On the side. Uh, maybe. Figure it There's out. There's that rail that I figured out. You can do it. Oh, underneath, maybe? Yep. There you go. There you yeah, go. man. I'm cooking with butter. It's hot. So uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh. We've taken a long hiatus, and I'm sorry. We just wanted to figure out what we wanted to do. And also, like, starting a podcast and everything. Start another channel, if you didn't know. Yeah. Um, we want to do skits and other stuff like that. Um, oh, shit. But we've, we've also put a podcast on there. So if you're interested in that, um, I'll put a link in uh, the, the doobly-doo. If you watch Wheezy Waiter, that's what that's from. Doobly do. We're gonna Mad Max in this pole. Yeah. I haven't seen that yet. Oh, it's so good. Oh! Oh! Turn it up a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't interfere with our our audio. Alright. You gotta you gotta like You got me? Well, forward and back. Not forward. All right. You got it? There you go. There you go. Okay. That's kind of fucky. I'm on to a ledge. Then jump. There you go. These camera angles are fucking with me. Yeah. But I like it. Yeah. Made me hungry. <laughs> it smells like onions down here. Made, Made me, me hungry. hungry. Yeah, I really love this game. Oh. Okay. Although Uncharted 3 is probably my favorite, this is still a really, really awesome ah. game. Obvious cracks in the paint there. Might be a ledge. <laughs> Anything's a ledge, Ryan. If 
if it's a video game. And he's allergic to brave enough. <laughs> oh, look at that! Conveniently opened up for me. Video games. What do you know? What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Don't fall. Red duck. Uh, now you'll jump up there. There we go. There you go. Boom. You better go, son. No, all right. Uh. Or don't. That's cool too. Did I just fuck it all up? Yeah, you fucked it all up. Oh my god. We're not even like ten minutes into the game. Oh You're already dead. Oh my god. Okay, good. I believe in God. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> not going up there. No. <laughs> you better haul ass, dog. Do I have to run through this? I can already see this happening. Run, 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 run. I run. Uh, you just go. Let's go. Ah! What the fuck, Richard? <laughs> Good. Whew. Yeah. Whew. What's the sweat from my guys? Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Yeah. You're not gonna like this. Oh no. Oh. You're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. One who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone. It's a two person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. Ooh. Who is that? that? <laughs> Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Yes, Mola. That's a love is interest. The best drivers in the business. <laughs> She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble? I hear you ask. I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on so that it should not fall into the wrong hands. I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the 13. So I mean, it's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later. Little with band. only one ship yeah. left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there were 13 ships loaded with the Empress treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. 
Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate, fate of the 13. I saw! Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints <laughs> the site of the lost fleet. So... This game's story is already awesome. Yeah. This guy out it feels like a movie. Damn straight. <laughs> you in then? And the models don't look so plasticky. Right. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I mean, this game doesn't look horrible. Oh no, it doesn't at all. There are parts in this game that look fucking beautiful. I thought he had the beer in his hand. It's <laughs> 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 like, did that happen? Just hammered drunk. <laughs> Hey, look, there's a treasure over there by that tree. Go grab it. Oh, it is. No. You gotta go around. Yeah, you go around. You can't. Yeah, there you, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. $10,000? What? <laughs> oh, bank. Oh, go, go, go. Go, son. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I really I love the shit out of this game. I don't know if there's anything over here. Nine millimeter. I remember the night I got this game. Yeah. I had to like go to like I was like it was like a winter retreat type thing I was gonna go to. Yeah. And I had to wake up like super early, but I got this game the night before and I just I could not stop. <laughs> Jump over that little edge. Oh, oh yeah. There you go. Probably. There you go. I gotta shoot it. Of course it's locked. It's always, it's always locked. locked. Haha. <laughs> um. These gun holsters look cool. Yeah. They're different. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, you blast him in the dick and he blew up. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. You piece of shit. <laughs> Remember that movie, Don't Mess with the Zohan? Yeah. That movie's fucking awful. I never watched it. It's so bad. Don't watch it. I've seen it like one time. I watched part of it, I think. It wasn't good. That's the hairdresser movie, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when we saw the Avengers, Age of Ultron in the theater, they started like the the trailer to. Uh, oh, pixels. To pixels, everyone as, went. Oh. As soon as Adam <laughs> Sandler came on screen, like it was all like video games and stuff, and then everybody's like, "Oh, cool, what is this?" And then as soon as it showed like that shot of Adam Sandler sitting in like that little PT cruiser, everybody's like, "Oh no." <laughs> Pac-Man's a bad guy? Pac-Man's a bad guy? <laughs> Fucking Grown Ups 2, dude. That's still Best was... movie ever. <laughs> I still refuse to watch that. It's fucking terrible. I was in like a sleep coma. Oh yeah? Like, you know when you first wake up and you don't really want to do much? And that was just on. Okay. And I was like, fuck. Better get up, dog. Can't. Well, you can't. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh. So much for foreplay. You might tell me what the hell is going on. You mean with Flynn? Yeah. You might have warned me. I missed the look on your face. Anyway. You haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. 
Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. No. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just like we said, we pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm hmm And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Why don't they just fucking kill Together, him? Together, this time. I see. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. Trust me. <laughs> Jake, you, know, no. you naughty dog. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hey, what's gonna happen next? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you should fucking watch the next one. Watch it. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.